How's it going everybody? It's Andy with Smart WP, and today I'm gonna to show you how to clone a WordPress site. Now this is great for if you wanna migrate a website to a new server, or even create a staging site to try out new things on your WordPress site. We're gonna be using the plugin Duplicator to do this. It's a free plugin and it's pretty simple to use. All you need is an FTP client and your FTP information and a WordPress site to clone. So let's hop right in. So right now we're on our example WordPress site. Uh, you can see we don't have much content on here, but this is the site we're gonna clone. So just head over to your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, add new, and type in duplicator. It should be the first plugin to show up here. You can see it has over 1 million active installs. So we're gonna install this plugin and activate it. Now that duplicator is active, we can actually create a package of our site and this is what we're gonna to use to actually clone our site. So if you see on the left here, we have a new option called duplicator and packages and we'll just create a new package. Uh, by default, the name automatically fills out. We don't really need to change any of these options so we can just go next. Uh, and then duplicator will actually scan your site to see if it'll work with cloning your site. Uh, as you can see here, we're all good here. So we'll just hit build. So now it's building our package. This should only take a couple minutes, but it could take uh, longer than that if you have a huge WordPress site. So now you'll see you have an option to download an installer and an archive. The archive is the actual files in your site, and then the installer is what pulls all that stuff out and puts it into the new WordPress site. So we actually need both of these files. We'll just do the one-click download, so it downloads both at the same time. So you can see here the two files that were downloaded were an installer.php and a zip file. So now we're gonna head over to our FTP client. We'll be using Cyberduck, it's a free FTP client. Uh, if you're new to FTP, FTP lets you connect to your server and actually move files in and out. If you don't know your FTP login, you can email your web host and they should be able to get the information to you. Or you can log into your web hosting uh, dashboard and it's usually there. So we've already created an FTP login, so we're just gonna take uh, these details here and log in. So you can see here we have server, username and password and it's normal FTP, not SFTP. So if your information isn't working, you should try SFTP, but your host should tell you which it is. So we're gonna connect. And you can see here now, we can see the file structure of our server and we have a public HTML folder. Your server might look a little different. It might put you right in that public HTML folder, but we're just gonna pop into this one right here. So this is actually the folder that's public facing. So this is what shows up on the site itself. So here's where we need to put our installer and zip file. So I'm just gonna drag these over, the installer and the zip. And you can see they're uploading here. It's gonna take about 10 seconds to upload. So now our installer.php and our zip file are on the server. So now we can head over to the new site. So you can see we're getting the default landing page, but if we access our site through and type in slash installer.php, this will bring you to the duplicator installer. Uh, it runs a few tests to make sure that your zip files are there and everything. So we'll check this box and hit next. So now it's actually extracting the files and now it needs your database information to install WordPress. So if you don't know your database information, you can get it from your web host. You can email them if you're getting confused, but we're gonna show you how to do it in SiteGround right here. So in SiteGround and the site tools for your site, you can go head over to site and then MySQL. All hosts are different. So the interface might be a little different here but uh, most of the options should be there. So we're gonna create a database. And you can see this is the name of our database. So we're gonna put that database information in a notepad file. Now, when you make a database, you need to have a user that can access the database and that user is actually the WordPress site itself. So now that the database is created, we'll hit add new user. So you can see I've just generated a random username here and password, so we'll save those. And we'll hit manage access here. So we've just added the user to the database we just created. So now we have a login, a database, and a password, all for that new database. So now let's head over back to the duplicator installer. We'll keep the host as local host still. Some web hosts will actually give you a different URL for this field. We'll put in our database name, our database username, 
and our password. And then we'll hit test database and you can see that the database tested correctly and it's able to connect. Now, one of the final steps of this is it's going to change all of your URLs from your old site. So since you cloned a site with pre-existing URLs, it's going to change them to the new structure of the new domain you're using. So uh, usually the automatic settings are good because it knows what the server is that it's running on. So uh, these look good to me and we'll hit next. Now it's uh, putting the database onto the server and now we should be able to log into our WordPress admin. And you can use the same login that you used on your WordPress site previously because it's the same database and same site. Uh, as you can see, the installer automatically removed the installer files. So if the installer doesn't remove these for you, you really need to remove them. The site will give you a warning if they're still there. And just like that, you've cloned a WordPress site. You can see it's running on a new domain name and it's all the same content we had before, including photos. Now, this is great if you want to test different plugins and things like that. Maybe you're redesigning the homepage and you don't want to interrupt your current site. And uh, thanks again for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. We'll uh, help you out. And if you need to know your FTP or MySQL information or you're getting hung up on that, definitely reach out to your web host. They can definitely help you get that information. And if you found this video helpful, remember to like and subscribe and check out SmartWP for our full guide and more WordPress tutorials.